welcome to this week's Square Real News. I'm Ben. And I'm India. Welcome back from Jewellery Service, India. Are you glad to be back? Very glad to be back. We only ate chips at court, so I'm ready to be treated to the Square Meal lifestyle again, for sure. Especially this week. Where are we, Ben? We are in Socheru. Very exciting. We have a new Jay Stratherton restaurant. We've got a sneak preview of it. It opens today. In a few moments, Mr. Stratherton himself will be telling us all about his latest projects. Uh, what else have we got going on this week, though, India? Well, actually, it seems like everyone else has made way for this big opening. There's not much else going on, so I think we should go and talk to Jason immediately. Let's. Why not? <laughs> Open a Japanese restaurant because... You know, it's one of my favourite cuisines. Um, I've followed Japanese food for quite a while now since we started, became a little bit more notable when Michelin opened up there many years ago. And um, seven years ago, one of my uh, very young, talented chefs, Alex, um, shared an interest in Japanese cuisine. So I sent him off to Japan to work with Chef Murata at Kikunoi, and he came back, cooked me dinner. It was fantastic. And then we started pursuing our dream of opening up an izakaya. It's very simple, really. It's like a Japanese gastro pub. Um, but with everything in Japan, it's taken to another level. The sea bream sashimi. Um, it's my favourite because uh, all the sashimi here is very much like it is in Kyoto. It's dressed rather than just being the classic sliced and served on ice. Um, and it's, each one's dressed with a different vegetable, marinated in something different, and then a different either fresh wasabi or, or chilli or, or whatever it may be, um, a dressing just brushed on. And it's a real unusual take on sashimi, so the sea bream sashimi is my favourite. I think it's just a fresh take on Japanese food in, in London, you know, I hope people appreciate the two years of hard work since we found the site we've put into it, um, you know, everything's been considered, I think you should get excited about uh, Kasetsu, where we're sat right now, which is the other restaurant that opens up in a month's time, which will be Amakaze only, uh, 15 courses, 10 for lunch, 10 for dinner, and then also uh, on top of that we have a very cool a uh, cocktail bar in the basement called the Seven Tales of the Samurai, which is um, based on a very old Japanese fairy tale, which is taught to children. And we have everything from vending machines to cool cocktails to funky Japanese hip hop. So it's a cool place to come and hang out. Never say never, but at the moment, no. I think I'm done with the, the foreign restaurants for now because I'm, uh, I'm getting tired then, I'm getting old and I need to stay at Pond Street a little bit more and uh, I enjoy being behind the stove. So it's very difficult, you know, because whatever we do, we like to do 100% and I still love to cook. That's why I stopped uh, doing TV so much and, um, you know, to spend more time in the kitchen. We are working with uh, land securities for the new Nova building. So we're doing an um, Italian restaurant down there with Port Hood. Uh, we don't have a name for it yet, but it's going to be um, um, loosely based around um, um, pizza, grill and salads and crudo um, um, which you get um, along the Mediterranean part, you know, uh, Sicily and, and, and Sardinia and stuff like that. So it's going to be you know, a real fun project, we're looking forward to it. Yes, of course, you know, sh you know, every restaurant should get restaurant envy, otherwise he's too smug in what he has himself. We, we all should aspire to have and, and some are for cuisine, some are for interior. You know, when I first went to Chilton Firehouse, I love the ambiance, I love the interior. I think Co did a really great job in designing that space. So I had restaurant envy for a little while for, for Chilton Firehouse. Um, cuisine wise, you know, I'm a massive fan of Break Rain at the Lebri. I think his food's fantastic. Um, and, you know, what Park Chinois, I, it was like being in a film set, it was like being taken back to the 1920s in, in some. In, downtown New York or, or Hong Kong to some crazy Quentin Tarantino film set. So that was kind of fun. Uh, we really had a great time there. So yeah, of course we'll get a restaurant envy. But restaurant respect, I'd like to call it, rather than restaurant envy. You know, I'm always really impressed by the hoppers. I think what he's done there is just sensational. Um, no one knew I was going. I just got popped in on my own. I had a quite quick bite to eat. Uh, and I just thought it was fantastic. I've also popped into Bao because it's next door to Social Eating House. I've been with Paul Hood a few times and I'm just always really impressed by what those guys do. They're very professional, they're, it's very urban, it's very, it just feels right for London. I had it last night, it's disgusting to the absolute ninth degree. It's two slices of really bad normal white bread, two slices of cheese, packet of Walker's crisp put inside, brown sauce, squashed together, cut in half and eat in bed. It's disgusting. It's a common knowledge that I'm a big Margaret Thatcher fan. I'd like to have cooked for Margaret Thatcher. I'd like to have met her. I'd like to have had a conversation with her. 
um, for sure. Um, living, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for Hollywood, so you know, uh, I'm a huge Ryan Gosling fan. I think he was awesome in Drive, so I'd like to go for Ryan Gosling and have a little chat with him. That'd be kind of cool. Probably a complete lunatic on the dole somewhere, causing trouble. No, no. It, it would have to be creative because it's very fulfilling and I can only say that now because that's my life but I, uh, to be honest, I can't think of anything I'd rather be than a chef. I just had this conversation with someone yesterday. I feel that, you know, pushing success to one side, it's, it, it, to come to work every day and be creative and, and run a business where you make people happy and they go back to, the, you know, to their lives and for two or three hours you've made them happy and, and, and they enjoy what you do, I think it's a real honour to be able to do what we do. Gosh, well, I don't know about you, Ben, but I've been a bit starstruck. I've never met Jason before, but what a nice guy. What a nice guy, what a nice restaurant, what a brilliant bar as well there is downstairs, and uh, what a nice plate of food this is. It's Jason's favourite dish here, it's the sea bream salad. Um, what's the Japanese word for bon appetit? I've got yeah. no idea, but I'm going to try and eat this really gracefully on camera. Okay, hold on. Tuck in. Oh. Excellent chopsticks, that's chopstick skills there from India. That is so delicious that actually we're going to have to say goodbye and go and finish it. But remember to follow us on Facebook, like us on Twitter, the other way around. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye. See you next week. Happy eating. We're very happy with this. <laughs>